right, folks, welcome back here to the Dr. Mario Championship. We're going to get right to it here, folks. Uh, it is time for our next match, and it is tw our 26th seed, Leviticus, versus our 7th seed, defending champion, Packy. I said the 7th seed, defending champion, Packy. Somebody said, what wants to be smart in the audience? Uh, all right, uh, we're going to get things going here in... Well, with your guys' countdown, let's do this. In three, two, one, Hills. Got a truly international matchup here. Leviticus hailing from the great white north in Canada and uh, Packy hailing from uh, the sunny Southern California area here and the three-time versus champion. And Leviticus already putting the screws onto Packy here, getting a lot of garbage over on his side. Meanwhile, Packy trying to uh, get things going. He gets a triple in there, getting that middle area uh, affected and a uh, horizontal clear, just trying to clear some real estate as uh, we continue here in this top 32 matchup. Uh, and we do have the bracket live. It will, it will be updated following this round of 32. Uh, we do appreciate your patience here as we get things going. Leviticus uh, holding on to a five virus lead right now, 47 to 52. Uh, as Packy goes down to 50. As uh, we continue here, it is uh, very close, 34 to 35 on that speed. That means uh, Leviticus playing a little bit of a slower pace as far as uh, output goes on his uh, vitamin play, and he's gonna get a double there, sending two yellows over. Packy's gotta be careful. Uh, that seventh column is in a dire, dire need of getting cut down, but uh, more and more uh, clearing there, and a sweet tea for Packy. Uh, getting some more stuff off the board. But again, it is a virus advantage here for Leviticus. He is at 37 to Packy's 49. Packy, the defending Dr. Mario versus champion. Uh, Leviticus is a pretty darn legendary player in his own right. Thirty-one to forty-one here. Packy again, really just getting hammered on that uh, right side, really not being able to do much of anything. Uh, just trying to build some momentum here, getting a clear, getting a double. That's going to throw a little bit of garbage down. It's going to lock down Leviticus for a couple of seconds as Packy again uh, starting to set up another play. Really, just that right side again being just tamped down by uh, some of the combos Leviticus is throwing down, and Leviticus uh, now almost cutting off column six, and he does it again with another combo. Twenty-six to thirty-seven here, now twenty-five to thirty-seven. Leviticus has a very, very healthy board here. Not a lot of garbage uh, as Packy again, kind of just playing defense here, trying to get everything cleared off. And now column seven completely cut off uh, with that red piece of garbage. So. Uh, Packy looking for an out here, getting a little bit more breathing room with a couple of horizontal clears. Uh, more garbage in column eight now as uh, Packy gets that double clear, sending more garbage. And this is what he's got to do. He's got to play that defense. He's got to lock down Leviticus. If he keeps getting these combos, Leviticus can't play anything. And now it's a really, really rough going for Packy. Uh, three straight reds over in column seven. And again, he hasn't really been able to clear much of anything. He's hanging on to that 33 virus count. Uh, he's just buried in uh, vitamin capsules and getting a little clear there in column four. Down to 31, Leviticus at 17. Leviticus uh, has a uh, player's delight here, a lot of doubles, uh, especially that uh, two by two of yellow. Really can clear that however he wants. He can go uh, both horizontally or vertically with it. He is going to go vertical, clear out column number seven. Uh, a red blue also would be huge here. Uh, a little zero drop combo from Leviticus brings some red and yellow over to Packy's board. Packy kind of hoping maybe he gets a little bit more yellow uh, garbage to drop in column eight. That could help him out a little bit here. Uh, we have seen it happen. Uh, but Leviticus now down in single digit virus range as uh, he is now addressing a column at number one. And Packy tops out uh, an eventuality there as it is one to nothing in favor of Leviticus, the 26 seed. And over on DRMC2, we have uh, two of the best uh, 
women in Dr. Mario, Betty B, and Savage Octagon taking each other on. But right now, it is game number two over here on DRMC1 as Leviticus trying to get a 2 nothing advantage over Packy. Packy is currently off to a pretty good start, but ooh, a little bit of early garbage right in the middle. Uh, Leviticus slowing down Packy, and Packy going to get a nice little cross drop there uh, going uh, vertical into horizontal, sending a little bit more garbage over. And uh, Packy may be looking for uh, another uh, horizontal clear here over in uh, over towards the top of his board, uh, starting with that yellow over in column number one. And a uh, little quick drop there from Packy, and then cleaning up his garbage. He's at 47, holding onto a virus lead. Leviticus keeping his board pretty healthy. Uh, not really too much that uh, he wouldn't be able to clear with some uh, easy pill combinations. And uh, we're seeing that here. He's at 50, but Packy holding on to a uh, half a dozen virus lead. He's gonna get another combo, drop a little bit more. And these players, again, looking for those three, four combos. You're gonna see a lot more of those as we get further into the bracket. You can see a lot of aggression uh, trying to cut these players off and get these wins early. You don't want, the longer you stretch these games out, the more, more stressful it can get. Just trying to get that all clear. A nice cross drop again by Packy. He's gonna drop the 35. And uh, now really starting to fill out some wells with garbage. Uh, which is going to make Leviticus's job difficult. And a four combo for Packy. That's really going to rain some stuff down. And Packy now holding on to a big lead. He is about a 15, or excuse me, a 17 virus lead right now. And it is one to one over on DRMC2. Savage Octagon versus Betty as Leviticus drops a big combo, but a cross drop from Packy. And he sets up for another potential horizontal clear and he's going to get a triple clear sending more garbage and that could have been a disaster a well-timed clear by Leviticus uh, brings that board elevation back down in the center of his board we will uh we're gonna make a quick announcement here after this match is over and uh, continue going here. But right now, uh, oh, what a fortuitous drop on Packy's side, Leviticus. None too thrilled about what went on there, but uh, now trying to clear things out. And again, it's that story, that right side getting hampered down, but this time it's on Leviticus' side. Gets that long clear, gonna turn a combo on here, but Packy's got a pretty open board here, and uh, you have to wonder if he's going to maybe start building something to shield that lower uh, lower left-hand corner from uh, garbage falling down. We saw Influx employ that strategy uh, last year, just trying to build an umbrella in his corners. Packy with a combo. He's down to single digits, so he is really uh, turning on the pressure here for Leviticus. And uh, we've, we've seen this on the speed side too. Packy, uh, when he takes that loss, uh, he just really comes comes alive. Uh, you know, almost like you wouldn't like me if I'm angry. And Packy's gonna get uh, two consecutive double horizontal clears. He's down to two. Uh, the option likely to underclear uh, that yellow and that uh, double blue uh, would have been helpful if he had blue viruses left, but he doesn't. And now it's just a bit of a stun lock. And uh, we have the uh, speedy Dr. Mario 64 music here playing live. A little appropriate here is Packy now down to his final virus. But the good thing is you can't really disrupt an underclear uh, until the very last moment. And we see it there, Packy taking game number two. We got a tie game, folks. Ready? Uh, stand by, fellas. Uh, one more time, uh, what was the name of our uh, 31 seed? Ashley RN. Ashley RN. Ashley RN, our 31 seed, are you here? This is last call, we, we will have to forfeit your match and we do not want to do that. We want to give you your fair shot here. All right, folks, uh, fellas, whenever you're ready, three, Two, one, pills, and uh, we're gonna get going here. A lot of blue, a lot of yellow on that top line. Uh, it's not gonna be very helpful uh, if red start coming in and uh, a red red garbage starting to come in here. That's a smart play by Leviticus. That means Packy is not gonna be able to clear it right away. So a uh, really good here, uh, a swag RN. Again, please respond. Uh, but Packy is in danger of an early top out. Ooh, hoo -hoo, Leviticus really turning on the screws again.
It is 46 to 54, and Packy really can only play down the center of his board here. And even then, it's not great. And this might be another top out for the defending champ. He's gonna get that using the top of the screen. It cuts off the other path other half of the vitamin, and that's keeping Packy alive here. But again, not a lot of board for him to play with. He's basically forced to play right down that center of the board, and he is at 50, Leviticus at 38. Leviticus playing an incredibly clean game right now, uh, really just playing calm, in control. This is, this is how we see him play in speed. He doesn't necessarily play as quickly as possible. He just tries to play as cleanly as possible, and sometimes that efficiency uh, for lack of aggression is incredibly helpful. We're seeing it here, and Packy gonna top out, and he is facing a round one elimination early on. All right, we're gonna go into game four here, Packy facing elimination. Packy starting to turn on the aggression here, getting a sweet tee, and now uh, starting to clean that right side, trying to get that overall board elevation down as quickly as possible. A little bit of red garbage for him in column number five. Meanwhile, Leviticus gonna set another combo down. Uh, that red garbage gonna stack on top of the one he already sent. A double red eliminates it. And he, uh, zero, zero drop clear for Packy. He's gonna start dropping things down. He's got a six virus advantage. He's gonna get another sweet tea. Gonna get simultaneous colors, but they fall on blue viruses. So not helpful there as Packy down to 35, Leviticus at 43. A nine virus lead, but that fourth column starting to get a little precarious. And now it's only a one full uh, pill height uh, as, oh, oh, and now Packy in big trouble. He's got to start addressing that side. If Leviticus can get a triple, he might put this away. And that is a double. Where's it going to go? It is going to go in column five, and Packy lives to fight another day. Looking for a blue, he might, he needs it to stay in this, and he gets the tuck, and Packy stays alive. What a huge, huge comeback. You could see it there. Packy did not want to go out right here. He wants to take this to a fifth game. Absolute phenomenal recovery by Packy. I'm at a loss of words. We don't see recoveries like that too often. Absolute clutch play. But Leviticus still putting on the pressure. Uh, he does have a bit of a mess in the middle of his board, but he does he is holding on neck and neck here. Now it's it is exactly neck and neck. A little horizontal clear. Now puts some two viruses ahead. A little red garbage falling down. Meanwhile, we've got Packy on his board. He's got a big setup here. If he can get a yellow, we're going about to, or a red, you can see something huge. A little garbage going to help clear out uh, the top of column three. And we're waiting on a, a, an L. And oh, he didn't get the gravity to fall. There was that blue, the blue stack over in column two. Didn't break, so no combo for Packy. Meanwhile, Leviticus playing a relatively clean board. There is a lot of burial. His big issue is going to be column seven, eight. That is just stacked to the brim. He's going to have to work underneath or horizontally. That could give Packy a bit of an advantage here. Uh, although Packy currently down by one virus, and uh, we're going to see uh, some garbage fall down and then a double red, so more garbage. Where does this fall for Leviticus? It does help him. Clears down a big chunk of column number five. And Packy uh, just getting stacked to the brim here. Looking, he might drill down here. He is gonna, he's gonna get a triple combo. That's gonna, that cuts off column seven for Leviticus. This forces him to play that entire spire on the right side horizontally. We'll see what he does there. Meanwhile, Packy now starting to get that clean board. Another zero drop clear. More garbage on the side of Leviticus, who's got 19. He does hold the virus advantage, but Packy, I would say board health wise, currently just holding a slight lead. We're gonna see what happens here as Packy now gets a drill down double clear. That's gonna bring more garbage on Leviticus. The side Leviticus, pretty high up. He is in danger of a top out. Clears things down at that vertical, gets a triple. That's huge, but it is gonna help. It's gonna bring two back. So really a three for two there. Packy dropping down more garbage. This is going to be a triple clear. Going to send more things down Leviticus's board here. That red going right in the center, interrupting what could have been another combo. Red, 
an incredibly close match here. 16 to 18, Packy holding on to the lead, but Levick is starting to clean up his board. But again, he's got to play horizontally. There's just no way he can attack vertically. He's going to have to start on that bottom, go under, and then maybe un clear vertically underneath. Uh, but it is going to be a tough call here. And we have a huge upset. Betty B just eliminates Savage Octagon. What a phenomenal match over on the DRMC2. I know, as a, I know as a community, they've both been around a long time, so I think we're, we were all winners no matter what over there. But over here, we've got two stalwarts as well, Leviticus and Packy. Oh, go ahead, chant for Betty. Come on, crowd. <laughs> Meanwhile, Leviticus and Packy still at it here in this fourth game. We got Betty Chance in chat too, love it. Love you guys over in our, our chat here. Uh, it is 14 to 15, again, this is a marathon. Speed is up to 47 right now. You're, think, you're, you're right around that double digit level speed if you wanna compare that to Tetris. Uh, but it is a one virus uh, advantage here, now a two virus advantage for Packy. We got Savage Octagon coming back. Uh, great, graceful in defeat, uh, I, I'm sure. Yeah, I just wanted to come back and commentate with oh, her, but thanks. she is so fantastic. So congratulations to her. I want her to go as far as she could possibly go. Wow, Pack this match is... Pack you with a drop cross. While you had a, a great match going on over here, we are still in this fourth game. Packy was facing elimination Ooh. and uh, got a color on our screen, we got a bit of a color glitch. We'll get that taken care of, but uh, we've got uh, now turquoise uh, viruses and dark blue viruses. Uh, we'll get that taken care of for you here. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, wow, Led's really gonna have to dig up from underneath here to make this work. And Packy's garbage dropping right on top of his plans to build that horizontal. Packy down to half a dozen viruses, but again, he's got that, he's got kind of the same issue Leviticus has, just a huge stack of garbage on a smaller stack of viruses. But Leviticus starting to crack that right side open. Yeah, but Leviticus unfortunately just comboed himself with that garbage. Very, very close match here, and I think Packy is uh, starting to get uh, that red. That is red. Uh, that he's, it, <laughs> it's red on Packy's screen, I can assure you. It is, it is just a, a gear issue on our end. We'll get that rectified for you here in just a few moments. But Packy now down to his final four, but Leviticus at 10. It's it, just having that huge stack with hardly any answers for it. It's just very, very frustrating, but Leviticus is one of the most persistent players and he will find a way. He is some of the best board vision of most of our players. Yeah, but Packy's down to one and all he needs is one more light turquoise to and pull up from underneath. there's a turquoise clear. <laughs> and uh, it is now two to two. We're going to a decider. Stand by. All right, yeah. Uh, the viruses got into our gear. Uh, we threw some vitamins at them and now they're gone. Uh, we're gonna get back into it here. This is a decider and this has been a heck of a match. Uh, Leviticus versus Packy. Uh, gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> as ready as they're gonna be. In three, two, one, pills and we're off. We've got our crowd here at Torg hype as heck for this match. And uh, these two guys are excellent players, excellent guys, and uh, they are looking to advance here. If, if Leviticus wins, we're crowning a new champion, Savage. Yeah, we are, and both of them keeping really clean boards so far and throwing just minimal garbage at each other. Now Leviticus has just gotten two drops in a row, but manages to bring some of that garbage down in column two. However, red, kind of an issue for both players. They're not gonna make a lot of headway clearing viruses with red. And I think this this is a this is a decider. So you're not going to see too many risky plays. You're going to think I think you're going to see these players focus more on clearing the board rather than getting combos. I think the combos are going to be secondary here, uh -huh. uh, just to keep themselves alive here. Uh, because if they go for those combos and make a misplay, it, it could be game over. 
Yeah, definitely. So Happy leaving some blues up high on columns one and two now brings them down with a horizontal, but it leaves some garbage on the top of his board. Meanwhile, Leviticus has a little bit of a mess in the center of the board, but oh, turning that double red sideways made a combo disappear. Leviticus playing with fire. It's dangerously high over in columns four and five. Going to have to start addressing that red uh, in column five and as well as the blue in column four. That garbage actually helpful. Uh, Going to get a long clear uh, vertically and uh, Leviticus now, now a little bit more room to play. Oh, that's a critical misplay. That could be it and it is. Packy manages to take game five. But what a match. Let's give it up for both of these players, everybody. Wow. Oh, and with that, uh, that closes out our uh, top 32. Uh, we're going to get that bracket updated for you and get our top 16 going here. Uh, we're going to take just a quick break. This is the Dr. Mario Championship Channel. We'll be back. <laughs>